Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMOS Now. This is going to be a semi-daily program where we talk about all sorts of things having to do with Macintosh, iPod, and iPhone. So today what I've got is iPods and schools. There's a story going around today about a school in Australia where the 8th graders are using iPods in their classrooms. They're using them to watch lectures and reinforce learning. And I watched the entire uh, news report, which actually was from a TV station in New Zealand, it was kind of interesting. Uh, actually, it really looked like they had a lot of Macs there as well as iPods, so I don't know if it's part of a huge sort of uh, technology push there, but the bottom line was it was working. And this isn't the first time that iPods have been used in the classroom. Even a few years ago, the New York Times had reported that they were using uh, them in a classroom in Manhattan. So it's been around for a while. And a matter of fact, you go to iTunes Music Store and you can find free lectures online that you can download. And there's also a lot of colleges that provide lectures, both audio and video, for iPods or MP3 players, so you can watch them there. So this is nothing new. But just as many schools have been trying to use iPods for learning, there's ones that have been trying to ban iPods for various reasons. For instance, a report from a few years back says that uh, kids are behaving antisocially. They're putting on the iPods and they're not paying attention to their friends. Of course, I used to do this back in the 80s and it was a Sony Walkman, so I don't really know what the difference is. Um, another school, uh, a whole school board, in fact, is trying to ban iPods for those sorts of reasons. Also, they're finding kids aren't paying attention where they're walking in school. Um, you know, I had that same problem. I used to carry a book in front of me, and uh, just glad they didn't decide to ban books because of that. Uh, they're also saying that uh, iPods could be used for cheating. I'm not sure how an iPod is less conspicuous than a piece of paper, but I guess uh, that's the excuse they want to use. I think they probably should be better off trying to ban the actual behavior, like cheating or bumping in people in the hallway, than trying to actually ban technology that may help the kids. I mean, the teachers and the school board may be too old to take advantage of this technology, but the kids are going to need it, so they might as well get used to using it in their daily lives. So basically, uh, there's a lot of this going on, and uh, even here in Colorado, uh, we've seen our baseball team, the Colorado Rockies, use iPods to be able to watch video clips. So I guess uh, baseball teams have been watching video clips of pitchers and, and hitters for years before they play against them. Uh, using them on a personal small device allows the hitters and pitchers to be able to review them at their own pace rather than using a meeting room of sorts. So there's a lot to be done using iPods in education, and we'll probably see a lot more. So this is our first report. Look for more on this channel from MacMost Now. I'm Gary Rosenzweig.